if sets a and b have n elements each are the ranges of the two sets equal to the extent that we are talking about ranges symmetric mean median this is absolutely a statistics question if you are talking about sets a and b so that's probably the only word in this which is a sets question right let's get started it's an is question for is questions we know the answer is to be an s or no when is the data sufficient we have a conclusive yes saying that the ranges of both these sets are the same or if we say that the ranges of these two sets cannot be the same in either case the data is sufficient what do we know from the question stem both sets have the same number of elements n of a is equal to n of b cardinal number for both the sets is the same start by evaluating statement a it says that both sets are symmetric about their respective means approaches counter example it's a good way to understand how to look for counter example right the, we know that n of a is equal to n of b the number of elements in set a is equal to number of elements in set b what we have is both sets are symmetric about their respective means right let's get started a is equal to i'm starting with an example in this example i'm going to pick an example where the ranges of both the sets are equal i'm going to look for such an example so let's say a is equal to 1 2 3 there are three elements in a the range of this set is equal to 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 there are multiple examples you can pick i'm just picking one here and i'll probably use a different one in the printed form because i don't remember what i have written in the printed form right so set b i'll pick another one number of elements should be the same I'm going with the 4 5 6 how do we say that these are symmetric about the mean if you pick a set in which the elements are in an arithmetic progression they will definitely be symmetric about the mean hold on i want to bring about a clarity to this all elements if elements are in an arithmetic progression then they will definitely be symmetric about the mean the reverse need not be true everything that is symmetric about the mean need not necessarily be in an arithmetic progression for example i'll create one more set and show it to you for example 1 5 7 9 11 is this symmetric about the mean definitely yes 1 plus 6 is a uh, let me see if i've done everything right this is 5 this has to be a 30 i'm sorry let's make it as a 30 right 1 plus 6 is a 7 7 plus 6 is a 13 1 plus 5 is a 4 9 plus 4 is a 3. The gap here is a 4. The gap here is a 2. The gap here is a 2. The gap here is a 4. So this is certainly symmetric about the mean, but this is not in an arithmetic progression. So I'll reiterate what I said earlier. Anything that's in an AP will definitely be symmetric about the mean, but you can have elements which are symmetric about the mean, but they need not always be in an AP. Our thing is, I said the sets are symmetric about the mean. So if I pick an arithmetic progression example, it will certainly be symmetric about the mean. Is it in an AP? Yes, it's in an AP. So it's symmetric about the mean. Is this also in an AP? Yes, it's also in an AP. So it's symmetric about the mean. So symmetric about the mean is established by picking APs. What's the range of this? This range is also two. So I basically said that I'm going to pick two sets which have the same range. Does it satisfy all condition? They have the same number of elements. They are symmetric about the mean. Their range is the same. So the answer to the question is yes. If this had been the example, now I'll have to look for a counter example. Let's look at A to be equal to something like this. i need the ranges to be different right now but the element should be symmetric about the mean i'll go with the same 1 2 3 let's not change this so this the range is equal to 2 i'm going with set b will have the same three in terms of number of elements in it i'll go with, let's say a 10 20 and a 30 is this symmetric about the mean definitely because these three numbers are also in an ap what's the range in this case the range in this case is equal to 20 so both these sets have the same number of elements mentioned in the question stem both these sets are are symmetric about the mean is their range the same the range is not the same answer is no so statement one alone is not sufficient the moment we are able to find a counter example so solving it with a counter example is a quick and nice way to get to the answer so statement one alone is not sufficient we can eliminate answer options a and b what are we down to we are down to b c or e quickly summarize this I think probably used a different set of numbers to get to the same conclusion Example one, gone with five. N of A is five. N of B is five. We have five elements in each set. One, two, three, four, five in an AP. So essentially symmetric about the mean established. Range is equal to four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten is also consecutive numbers. Therefore, definitely in an AP, range is equal to four. Answer to the question with this set of example is yes. Going with another set of example, one, two, three, four, five. Number of elements is five. Are they symmetric about the mean? Yes, in an AP. Therefore, symmetric about the mean four. If the same set A has not been changed. Set B, I've gone with an AP. Are the common differences ten? Therefore, it's definitely symmetric about the mean. 
Number of elements is the same as that in the number of elements of set A. Range is equal to 40. The answer to the question, the ranges are different. So statement 1 alone is not sufficient. We don't have a conclusive answer. Eliminate answer options A and B. We are down to B, C or E. Let's evaluate statement 2 alone. If it's sufficient, we'll go with the B. The median of both the sets is 50. Again, I'm going with a counter example. Let's start with one example where the median is 50. Start with set A. And I'm trying to establish that both these sets have the same range. Let's check out if it works out. Going with, let's say, a 47, 48, 50, 52, 53, right. The median is equal to 50. The third element, we have five elements, median is equal to 50. What is the range in this case? Range is equal to 53 minus 47. This is equal to a 6. Looking at set B, this one also should have basically the same median and I want the same range. Start with a 47 to whatever in between. I can give a 48.32, doesn't matter what it is and then go with a 50, and then I can do a 51, and then I can go with a 53. Is the median 50? Yes, the median is 50. What is the range in this case? Range is equal to 6. Number of elements in both the sets is the same, range is the same, and the median is the same. So answer to the question is an yes. Now let's look at a counter example. I'm going to look at something like, I'll retain A as it is. It's quite easy to keep something fixed. 47, 48, 50, 52, and 53. So in this case, the range is equal to 6. I had to pick an example where the median is 50 and the range is not that I need to have 5 elements. I'm going to go with something like 10, 40, 50, 52, 79. Some 5 numbers I picked. Now 50 is a median. Yes, number of elements in both the sets is the same, which is equal to 5. What is the range for this set? This range is equal to 69. Are the ranges of both these sets the same? No, we found a counter example. So statement 2 alone is also not sufficient. We were down to B, C or E. B can be eliminated. It's either C or E. Let's combine the two statements to verify whether it's C or E. But before that, let's basically summarize it. We would have probably used a different set of numbers to arrive at the same conclusion. 47 to 53, 5 numbers, median, middle number, 50, range is equal to 6. I've got slightly different set of 5 numbers, median 50, range is equal to 6. Yes is the answer. Counter example. Here I've gone with a lovely counter example, 50, 50, 50. So is a median 50? Yes. Number of elements equals 3, range is equal to 0. Gone with a 40, 50, 60. Number of elements is 3, median is equal to 50 and the range is equal to 20. Answer is equal to no. So statement 2 alone is not sufficient. Eliminate answer option B, get down to C or E. Combine the two statements. Let's check out if you can get an answer for this one. Right. Both sets are symmetric about their respective means. The median of both sets is 50. Let us look for a counter example. Symmetric about their mean. One good way to look for symmetry is basically go with arithmetic progression. So I'm going to look for yes as an answer first. So A is equal to, we need the median to be a 50. So I'm going to go with 47, 48, 50, 52, 53. Five numbers in the set, symmetric about the median, symmetric about the mean. The mean is equal to 50. How do we know that? 47 plus 53 is 100, 48 plus 52 is 100, 200 plus 50, 250 by 50 is the mean. So this is mean, guaranteed. Other, I didn't do this and how did I figure out? Basically, I spaced them out equally on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. I added a 1 to get a 48, 2 to get a 52. So the gap here is 1, gap here is 2. So beyond 50, I'm going to have a gap of 2 and a gap of 1. So it's symmetric about the mean. That's guaranteed. Is the median 50? Median is 50. What is the range to this? The range in this case is equal to a 6. Let's look at an example where the range is going to be the same 6 with the median being a 50. 47 going with 50, 50, 50. A different set of numbers. Range is certainly equal to 6. Is the median 50? Yes. Is the mean 50? Yes, let's quickly check it out. I added a 3 to get this, I added a 0 to get this. So beyond 50, add a 0 and then a 3. Or if you want to actually check out whether the mean is equal to 50. 47 plus 53 is 100. 100 plus 100, 200. 250 by 5 is equal to 50. So this is also symmetric about the mean. In either case, the way I've picked it, I've not picked arithmetic progressions to prove this. You could have got one of them with arithmetic progression. Right? Range is the same in both these cases. Answer to the question is yes. Now I need to look for a counter example. Counter example is one where I need to have a different range satisfying all of these conditions. So I'm going to go with A to be equal to, let's say, a 49, 50 and 51. Is it symmetric about the mean? Yes, it's an AP, so it's symmetric about the mean. 
What is the range? The range in this case is equal to 2. I'm going to pick inspired by the printed example that I had in the last slide. I'm going to go with the 50, 50, 50. Is it symmetric about the mean? Definitely yes. If all the numbers are the same, it has to be symmetric about the mean. What is the median? Median is 50. Number of elements in set A and B are the same. What's the range in this case? Range is equal to 0. Range is not the same. So the answer is no. So despite combining the two statements, we have not got a conclusive answer. So eliminate answer option C. Answer option E is the correct answer. So I mentioned at every stage, keep looking for what can I tweak here or there so that I get a counter example. If I'm able to find a counter example, then you can eliminate the statement quickly. Let's quickly see what values I took in the printed form. Example 48, 50, 50, 52. The range is equal to 4. Median is equal to 50. Symmetric about the mean. All conditions satisfied. Here again, this number is in an AP. Median is 50. Definitely because it's in an AP, it's symmetric about the mean. 5 elements in set B as is a case with set A. Range is equal to 4. Answer to the question with this example is yes. Let's look for a no. 47, 50, 53. Range is equal to 6. Symmetric about the mean because this is in an AP. 40, 50, 60 is median is 50. Symmetric about the mean because it's in an AP. The range is equal to, sorry, not 10. Range is equal to 20. The common difference is 10 in this case. In either case, the range is not the same. Answer is no. So together, the statements have not given us a conclusive answer. Eliminate answer option C. Choice E is the correct answer to the question. This question is more about testing our ability to look for a counter example. Before you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash bizako and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.